Welcome to this video playing Amnala. Um, Amnala. Amnala. I don't know. It's always difficult. It's Swedish, probably. Oh, I haven't had this opening for a long while. Oh, I thought the banker. Okay, but we got the 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 check Benoni. There's also this idea with h4, bishop h3, which is not bad. Oh, but okay, I don't mind this classical approach. Yeah, this is always funny. Sometimes people play that and it's just really blundering upon. I mean, one needs to be honest about this. This is absolutely no compensation. It's like a Banco Gambit where you have the center closed and the bishop only seven. This is just um, just giving away a pawn for no compensation. Um, okay, so a4. Still need to be precise about things. Um, how to do this? b3 maybe? Mm, b3. Maybe, maybe this is the most precise. If I get in rook e1, bishop f1, then, then it's basically over with any sort of claim for compensation. c4, I also have b4. Bishop takes, knight takes, and maybe Maybe, maybe I should uh, bishop f1 first. I'm not sure about the move order. So rook b1, yeah, that's just at least good. I don't want to waste um, or spend um, so much time here. This is one of those opening reds where, where it is extra frustrating if you lose on time as as white is basically winning by move 10. This is just uh, just like that. Yeah, he has the only idea he has here is some, somehow to play c4 and getting activity, but it, it shouldn't really work. Okay, well, there I can take with the bishop as well to have bishop c6. <laughs> bishop c6. But okay, I can also develop or let's say coordinate the rest of the forces yeah bishop g5 is not not really not really happening Yeah, it's hard to not play that at some point, but here I can also go b4, controlling c5. He cannot take on a4, it's protected also by the b5 bishop. And uh, my next move will just be a5, I think. a5 and uh, bishop c6. a5 is just trapping this knight. Where is this knight going? Black resigns. Yeah, it's really not much to say. B five is is just a blunder. You you just take it and win the win the game, unless you blunder uh, with peace or something. White um, white is just a pawn up. But, um, yeah, it simply. 
compared to uh, to to the Banco. I mean, just compare this. You have the bishop on g7, reeking. I mean, down the board, yeah, a big a big piece on g7, and here it is on e7 with a closed center. And the only thing that White needs to do is make sure he's not blundering the pawn back. And um, I only needed some. Yeah, this is basically giving up to take on b5, but Black really is totally busted. Before yeah, the plus six, <laughs> funny comp evaluation. Very difficult to not lose any of those pieces here now. It's um, yeah, this is just a totally, totally unplayable opening. Black um, Black should um, should play something like like castles here. It's funny that Stockfish only gives this as zero point three for white. This is uh, pretty much a joke. But um, Black Black should just castle here and play play normally. This is. Um, not one of the greatest openings for black, but it is definitely something that you can uh, you can play. Okay, thanks for watching.